So today we're doing a career sim of MLB The Show 23's cover athlete, and that is Jazz Chisholm. We're going to play the entire career of the new center fielder for the Marlins. Yes, it was recently announced that he's going to be moving from second base to the outfield. And you know what? I felt like because he just got announced as a cover athlete, he's changing positions. Let's play his career. So here we are, the new center fielder for the Marlins, and a player that went healthy looks promising, looks really promising. It's just when healthy so you got to keep him on the baseball field obviously 2021 he played 120 games this most recent season battled some injuries for sure and it'll be interesting to see what he can do in the outfield as well as at the plate so here we are 81 overall fielding i've, I've tweaked it down a little bit just to kind of emulate the fact that he's moving from the infield to the outfield there is going to be a little bit of an adjustment learning a new position and everything but we'll see how it goes hitting stats are similar to what they already are in the game and this is what we've got going on i know mickey rojas is no longer on the team he's actually moved to the dodgers i keep forgetting to adjust this move it's not important because we're here to talk about jazz chisel so we're going to do 10 seasons from this point on so it'll be 11 years of mlb service time where we finish his sim let's do it so the season's over the marlins finished 68 and 94 which not great and to be honest i don't expect the marlins to be good this year at all i, I fully expect them to struggle i mean when you look at the lineup here it, it it doesn't look promising it really doesn't and it looks like they've made a trade hold on where's a rise because chisholm's been moved from center field to dh bladez in center field where's a rise so a rise got traded but for who i gotta see can i see transactions completed we'll go to us uh, so jr richie from the Braves for hampson interesting but austin martin from the twins so the twins traded back for <laughs> Oh, no. Okay, so we do have a league leader. It's Alcantara for both. So no awards either in the first year. We've got Tatis and Devers. And the first year is obviously this year in real life. We're going we're gonna to count this year as well. So let's, let's take a look. Let's see what Jazz did. He's up to an 84. He's 24 years old and played in 146 games, 35 doubles, 24 home runs, 84 RBIs. Not a bad little season. Not a bad little season at all. I definitely expect him to improve. I mean, what are we looking at? 20 stolen bases. Pretty solid. And then a war of, where is it? 3.7. So overall, not too bad. Does have some, some quirks. It'll be interesting to see what's going on here. So yeah, not a, not a bad year. Not a bad year. Not a great year, but definitely moving up the ranks for sure. So let's see what the off season is looking like. And let's get into season two. So before we get into season two, season two, let me know what you guys think about the cover art. Are you excited for MLB The Show 23? All that good stuff down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button. And of course, if you're new here and you're excited for MLB The Show 23 content on franchise, hit that subscribe button because we're going to be dropping a bunch of it once the game release. But let's hop into it. So season two, we do have our first kind of accolade, I would say. For the sim, we've got Jazz Chisholm being the center field nominee for the, the All-Star game. And uh, that was really about it. Uh, that was all I wanted to show you. I did want to show you that he uh, he made the All-Star game. But yeah, so the cover the cover athlete Jazz, you know, I, th I thought it was an interesting choice. You know, I think it's one of those things where he's an exciting player, you know, and I think you can kind of work with that. He he wants to do it. He, he's kind of in the MLB The Show community. I know he plays Diamond Dynasty. I know he's he's done videos with other Diamond Dynasty creators. So I know he's kind of in the community and he's, he's a guy that I think a lot of creators enjoy as a cover athlete. You know, obviously he, it's not like a, a Mike Trent or Shohei Otani, but you know what? It, it's different. It's different. And it, yeah, I don't mind it, you know, and I'm, I'm kind of excited to see what happens with MLB The Show 23. Like, obviously I'm excited for the new game to come out, but I don't really know what to expect with the new game. So after an all-star appearance, what do we got going here? Okay, nothing. I was kind of hoping maybe we would have had something, but we did not. We did not. Judge and Tatis. Is that who it was? Judge and Tatis. MVP. You got Cy Young and Bieber and Kershaw. And then last season's, um, I forgot to show you, last season's MVP were the Astros. And they beat, hear me out, they beat the Cubs. They beat the Cubs. Just saying it's possible all right so what do we got going on here center field jazz chisholm 86 overall what do we got going on here okay interesting some more triples less doubles less hits less at bats as well but more home runs less rbis more walks okay so kind of give and take there numbers are kind of similar to last year i have a feeling it's just kind of a very similar season 
and I'm kind of interested to see what happens. You know, contact went down a little bit, the power versus lefties went down a little bit, not what you want to see, but again, not a bad year, not a bad year at all. Obviously, you want to build on that, but for season two, can't can't knock it, can't knock it. So season two in the books, Marlins once again, not a playoff team, not too sure if they're going to be a playoff team based on the lineups that I'm seeing. But um, let me let me double check his his contract status. When are we hitting uh, free agency? 2027. All right. Next season. Another sub 500 season for the Marlins. But we're here for the man. And no, no. Come on. Give me Tatis. I need you to leave. Go to the AL, please. I need you out of here. I need you out of here. Um, the Padres just look nasty, by the way, which is kind of gross. And uh, yeah, it's it, that's just kind of gross. What do we got going on with Jazz? He's up to a 90. He's up to a 90 and he hit 285 with a 373 on base percentage at the age of 26. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Is Jazz 24 right now? Is Jazz 24? Okay. All right. For some for some reason, I thought he was he was 26 in real life, but he is 24. He is 24. Okay. Yeah. Th okay. That would make sense then. So yeah. 20. Yep. All right. Yeah. Duh. Yeah. Okay. There was a point where MLB The Show actually had ages wrong on their roster. So, hey, I just I just had to double check. I was the one that was wrong. So either way, uh, yeah, easily his best season. 285, 373 on base percentage and 35 doubles, 12 triples and 20 home runs. So again, that's, that's a good year. That's a that's a good year. 23 stolen bags to 881 OPS. What are we looking like war wise? 6.9. Ooh, nice. Okay. Who beat him for triples? 13 by Jake McCarthy, really? And Robert had it on the other side as well. 13, Jake McCarthy. That's who's starting for the Cubs right now? It's kind of nasty. <laughs> it was kind of gross. Uh, Shohei's on the Dodgers, I saw that. But yeah, not a not a bad season for Jazz at all. Any new quirks? No. Actually, he lost the platoon quirk, which I, I guess I could see that with his, his, his uh, lefty numbers going up. But yeah definitely a better season it looks like the team is slowly improving but like not really i don't i don't really know what to expect interesting what about the pitching what's the pitching looking like okay okay let's next season oh we gotta get jazz some help because good lord uh we'll take a quick look jesus tatis just just call it the tatis award at this point like that's that's all who's winning it like it's insane let's take a look i mean 80 78 mm, like what is this team you got a guy named broderick griffith on your team there's no way you can be good with a guy like broderick griffith starting for you it's just it's just it's just not possible um jazz did have like a ooh, 31 home runs i was gonna say a little bit of a down year but no um, at one point, he was hitting like 220. At the All-Star break, he was hitting like 220. So he he definitely turned it up a notch second half of the year. But yeah, 31 home runs, doubles 26. So not as good as it was last year, but it was still a really respectable season. Like that 31 home runs, you'll take that any time of the, any time of the week. Especially at, you know, Miami Stadium or whatever it's called nowadays. Like Home Depot, Lone Depot, whatever, whatever the stadium's called. I feel like they're always changing the stadium. They're changing the name. There's always something going on with the Marlins. They're always changing something. Why don't why don't you change the team? Make it better. That's that's what you should be changing. Either way, no postseason. They won like 50 games. 55 and 107. That's not good enough. Jazz, though, he's carrying the team by himself as the Blue Jays win a World Series. Let's keep going. All right. 2026. I believe he's a free agent now. I believe I, I could. It might be next year. I think Tatis won MVP again. He did. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know why I check anymore. Jess Chisholm had probably his quietest year in a couple seasons. Still hit 30 doubles, 23 home runs. But, um, you know, no protection in the lineup. It's kind of tough to do well when you're the only guy hitting the baseball. Like you're starting somebody that's hitting 174. Good Lord. Wow. Yikes. Like, what is, what is the farm system looking like? You got anybody? You got O'Donnell? Call up O'Donnell. You, you've got him starting? Call up O'Donnell. Jesus Sanchez, put him in the lineup too. Get him in there. Who else? Who else you got? Because, wow, this team, this team is something. You know, put Jacob Berry in the squad. He's definitely better than Jordan Groshans right now. Or Cody Morissette. 
or Austin Martin. Yeah, throw him in too. Let's get these let's get these bats moving because this team is pretty lackluster. But again, we're here for Chaz, six years in the majors, which I, bl I believe he's hit free agency this year. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Is he, is he gonna stay? Is he gonna go? Do they need to keep him? I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what happens. It'll be interesting. Maybe he pops off at another team because Miami clearly not doing enough. They didn't even make the postseason once as the Guardians defeat the Mets in the World Series. So let's see here. Is he a free agent? He is, he is, okay. Do they re-sign him? Did they re-sign him? Is he in the lineup? He is not. So that means he is a free agent. They do have a six-year, $23.8 million deal out there. Will he re-sign? That is the question. And I don't think I'm going to get a notification. But let's let's take a peek. Let's see what happens. Did he re-sign? It's still out there. What other deals does he have? The Dodgers. The Dodgers want him. Ooh. Ooh, a little jazz in LA. That sounds like a good night right there. Ah, that sounded weird. I, I shouldn't say that out loud. That that's that sounded weird. That sounded weird. I was I was making more like reference with like jazz music in LA, you know, but I, I made it weird. I made it weird. Um I'm just gonna sim and we'll see where he goes. He ends up going to the Rockies. Nine years, 232 mil. The Rockies the Rockies. In his first year with the Rockies, we have his second all-star appearance of the Sim. Hit 267. It looks like he's on a little bit of a cold streak right now, but there it is. There it is. He's going to start to pop off. We're going to see a crazy season. I mean, look at the Marlins. They're ranked 30th. They're not doing anything. We, we, what are the, um, what are the, what are the Rockies doing? Okay. Yeah. Um, I didn't say anything. <laughs> so with the season in the books, I believe this is going to be Season six, I believe. I believe. Ooh, Tatis is no longer MVP. Francisco Lindor gets one at the age of 33. Had a really good season. And on the other side, it was Jared Walsh. Okay. Okay. All right. So one thing that I wasn't looking at at all was if uh, Jazz got any silver sluggers or anything like that. And um, that's on my... That's my bad. I wish the list was a little bit longer. Maybe like five years at least. Like three years, is, it, it's just such a small window to keep track of. But he was he was in the mix for a silver slugger. And I want to see maybe a, maybe a gold glove. No gold glove. Michael Harris has got that locked down, it seems. So, all right. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's see what Jazz did in his, I think this is season number seven. Playing center field for the Rockies. Obviously on his big contract now. And yeah, this is season, so this is our season six because he already had one year MLB service time under his belt. 33 home runs, career high, as well as hits, I believe, at 158. So there's that. That's awesome to see. RBI is 117. So it looks like he was kind of a, a big portion of the offense with this team, which I can also see why they are not good. They just, I mean, they've got Kierstead. Why is it Kierstead starting? They've got a lot of outfielders. I wonder if at this point, why not move Jazz to second base? You know what I mean? He's got the secondaries. So he could do that. Either way, we're, he's, he's popping off. 97 overall, looking really good. This is going to be his highest war as well. Again, oh, 6.9 once again. Nice. Nice. All right. Season six. We've got four more to go. No postseason for the Rockies. Let's go to season seven. We're up to a 99 overall, and I wanted to show you this because he's actually having a crazy season. He's an all-star once again. He's already at 27 home runs at the all-star break. At the all-star break. Look at those numbers. He's popping off. This, this might jinx it. This might jinx it, but he's currently second. Second for MVP. So as Pete Alonso and Juan Soto are on the, the Brewers... All right, season two with the Rockies, and looking at the standings, let me show you something. We've got some postseason baseball for uh, Jazz. Award, he finished second. Let's see, let's compare, let's compare. So we've got 28 doubles, 175 hits, 40 home runs, 128 RBIs, and we've got 182 hits, 34 doubles, almost the same amount of home runs, way more triples, almost uh, 14 less RBIs, I, okay walks less strikeouts okay I, ah man it, that's a tough one I, I i see why pete alonso got it but also at the same time that is a great season great season by jazz wow 
That is a really good year. Oh, wow. Even Tatis had a really good season. Yeah, I, okay. I, I, any of these three, I could definitely see winning MVP. So, like, this is one of those where, like, yeah, Jazz could have won it, but I'm not upset that he didn't win it. That, that was a very close, very close race for sure. So, let me let me see. He, he definitely won a uh, Silver Slugger. You would assume, right? Okay, I was going to say he didn't. No way. Okay, so he did. He gets a Silver Slugger. What about a what about a little gold glove action? No, no gold glove action. And let's take a look. Let's see. We, we, we've seen his stats, actually. Um, but we'll take a little quick deep dive into him. You can see almost maxed out for contact and power. His contact versus left also went up a little bit. And his fielding's been going up pretty consistently as well. But 182 hits, well above his previous career high. You know, doubles up there as well. Second, his second best. 235 seasons career high for home runs career high for oh no not rbis but i mean definitely a, a killer season indeed and we take a look at the war almost a 10 war season that is a great great season so we still got plenty of seasons left we're only in season seven we do have some postseason baseball so let's take a look here and see how they do taking on the phillies in the wild card and they lose 10 to seven. That is unfortunate. One game, one loss, it's over. The Padres defeat the Yankees. Let's head into season eight. Jazz with another all-star appearance. I figured since, you know, facing Tatis winning MVP every single year, I'd show at least the all-star appearances and he's been pretty consistent. Um, you know, I think that's what, three or four now already, which is pretty good. About half the time we've simmed, not bad. All right, so no postseason for the Rockies, sadly. No MVP consideration either for Jazz. Fran Mill popping off with the, with the Giants. A little crazy to think about. But let's head back here. Let's see. Do we have a Silver Slugger? No Silver Slugger. What about what about a little gold glove? I doubt it. I'm assuming it's going to be Michael Harris. It's actually Brandon Marsh. Okay. Anything else that he could potentially win? I don't I don't think so. Because like, it looks like Michael Harris was just killing it. So let's take a look. Let's go see what we're doing in Season 8 at 99 overall still he's 31 years old some numbers are starting to go down a little bit he has hit 99 overall so that is a little bit understandable but again a really good season like those are some good numbers those are really good 30 doubles 32 home runs oh yeah how many years does he still have he has six more years <laughs> um but yeah i think he's added a quirk i don't maybe the which one is it hitting machine is that is that the one that he got or maybe sniper i don't I don't remember now. Either way, a new quirk has been added. He's still got a bunch of years left on his contract. We've got two more years to sim, but sadly, no postseason for the Rockies. Bummer. All right, so Miami made the postseason for the first time, but no Rockies. That's that's a bummer. Yuri Perez looks like he's kind of nasty. Let's go take a look really quick. What do we got? 93 overall, Yuri Perez. Uh, he was just nasty this year. Okay, yeah, makes sense. All right, let's take a look. Any award? I. Is that Jazz right behind there, MVP? It is. We've got an MVP. What other awards do we have here? A Silver Slugger. So an MVP, a Silver Slugger. Can we get the glove, the gold glove? We do not. All right. Any any other award? Hank Aaron Award just missed out on that. And no batting title. But we do get an MVP in year number nine. And it looks like Jazz had a pretty good season. Almost 200 hits, 187. So about 13 shy of 40 double season and then he tops it off with a 42 home run season a 40 40 season 23 stolen bases and 133 rbis i mean at the age of 32 getting your mvp there you go i mean it wasn't as good as his other year where he didn't win mvp but still really good season and a war of a 9.2 so it was actually yeah not as good as his other year but still really respectable just shy of 60 war for his career so Pretty, pretty solid year. Pretty good year. Again, some numbers are starting to decrease a little bit, but as expected, as he gets a little bit older, that's going to happen. And five years left on the deal. So we've got one more year to sim. He was also an all-star as well. So, I mean, it'll be interesting to see what happens. The Angels defeat the Giants. And let's go last year. Kind of intrigued. One more year. What's going to pop off? And then obviously we'll sim to the end of his career and kind of just do a little, little quick overview of everything. See if he ends up being a Hall of Famer. So last year, let's do it. Final season, no all-star game for Jazz. And um, you'll, you'll see why in a sec. I, I don't think he won an award. I'm going to be honest. I don't, I don't think he did. I don't even think he's going to win 
a gold glove, which is unfortunate, but let, let's take a look. Let's see what happened and uh, get an idea. So he's down to a 95. So he is starting to regress at 33 years old. And I would say quite a bit versus right. He's holy cow. Um, you can see he definitely took a little bit of a hit, you know, under 30 for the doubles, under 30 for the home runs, hits went way down and average on base percentage and OPS also went down a little bit too. I know some of you are going to be like, well, the core is a fact it actually doesn't happen in MLB the show when you sim. Uh, from what I've noticed, there is no difference in output based on what stadium you play on if you're simming the game. And I mean, it is a little bit unfortunate, but that's that's just how the game plays out when you sim it. So, yeah, this is just him being a good baseball player. So, sadly, he is starting to regress, does have quite a few years left on his contract. But after 10 years of what we've looked at so far, he's up to 300 home runs, 1,600 hits, you know, average 270, just shy of 270, and a career OPS of 849, a war of... Uh, Hold on, uh, 3.8 was this year, so a 63.4 war. Not bad, not bad. So I'm gonna sim to the rest of his career, or the end of his career, I should say, and uh, let's see what happens. All right, 2037 Jazz retires at the age of 40, 62 overall. So I mean, realistically, if we wanted to sneak him into a team, we probably could. But looking at it, you can see he's been out of the league for a year. He played with Atlanta, so one season after, and I think it was just the age of 40 that we kind of put him into retirement honestly last season he wasn't terrible decent on base percentage decent average there's no power and the year before i mean he played 53 games and it still wasn't that bad of a season either so that's that's it that's jazz chisholm's career in a nutshell just shy of 400 home runs he was 14 shy had over 2,000 hits and a career average of 266 with an 830 OPS. Overall, I would say it was a pretty, pretty solid career. Let's take a look and see what the, the war is. My glasses are crooked and it's really bothering me. Uh, but let's, let's take a look. Career war of 75.1. I'm going to, I'm going to, I just, I just want to take a uh, MLB career war. All right. 75.1 puts him around the... 83 mark he's tied with johnny bench and lou whitaker um so that range there there we are so like frank thomas is there is this the frank thomas it is the frank thomas frank thomas had 73.8 kershaw is currently at 75.9 let's see who else you've got reggie jackson in that range jim tomei larry walker palmeros all kind of in that range as well so honestly not not a bad career at all i don't think it's a hall of fame career it is not. But you know what? I'm, I'm still pretty impressed by it. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed the Jazz Chisholm career. So if you did, hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content. And of course, in the comment section, if you want to see more career sims, rebuilds, whatever it is. And of course, in the comments, let me know what you think about MLB The Show 23. Are you excited about it? Are you still kind of on the fence about it? Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out this video right here. I definitely think you will enjoy it. That's about it. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.